Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how I update my boosted loop files from one version of DAISY to the next. So for example, I'm recording this video on the 2nd of February 2024. Uh, DAISY update 1.24 experimental is live on the Xbox and PC servers, but it's probably going to be coming out in a week or two. The rumor is it's going to be coming around out around about the 14th, but we kind of we're going to have to see. And if you didn't know already, what I offer for free on my GitHub repositories are boosted loot um, server files. And what these are a collection of files that you can upload to a vanilla Daisy community server for PC or console. And they give you more stuff, makes the game easier to survive. But obviously with each update, Daisy add more stuff into them. So we've got the Vicar, the new mag, and the new helmets in this particular one. So I'm going to show you the technique that I use. Because, and this is what's really important, is an update isn't just about the new kit that's added. It can also include, and often does include, changes in the way that the overall code works. So, what are you going to need to do this? Well, I'm going to put some links in the description below this video, um, but you're probably going to want a text editor like Notepad++. Very good, because what we're going to be using with Notepad++ is you'll want to install the Compare plugin. Because in effect, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing the um, vanilla code for 1.23, and we're going to be comparing the vanilla code for 1.24, seeing what the differences are, and then we can then apply those differences to our modded files so we make sure we don't miss anything. So make sure you've got those. Now you're going to want to have a vanilla version of the DAISY, in this case, current file. So currently it's 1.23. So if you go to the GitHub repository, it will only always only have the current one on the front page. And then if you go into Daisy, Daisy Offline Plus, it has the mission files there. So what you want to do is click on code and you'll get, want to download the zip and extract it. Remember that when update 1.24 goes live, what happens is this lot goes down here to the state to the releases section, and then the 1.24 will then be here. So if then you want to compare it with um, a previous version, you have to go into here and then you've got those updates there. Often when there is an update, an experimental update, I would say don't update your server files straight away. Wait at least a week into the, exper the experimental phase because that gives the devs a chance to change stuff. So that gives us the vanilla version of 1.23, but where do we get the vanilla version of 1.24? Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated and may cost you some money if you don't already have DAISY on PC. Now you don't need to be able to play DAISY on PC in order to, in order to get the, uh, the, the experimental files, but you do need to own it. So you'll need to have a PC or a laptop with Steam, and then you'll want to buy DayZ. And if you buy DayZ, you get access to the game, but you also get access in the Tools section, so change that to Games and Tools, to DayZ Server, but importantly, DayZ Experimental Server. And so you click on that and you install it. You don't play it or anything like that, but you just install it. And what you'll end up with then is... On your computer, um, in somewhere like C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, basically where DAISY is, you'll have DAISY Server Experimental. And if we go into DAISY Server Experimental, and then go into the missions, there we have the 1.24, in this case, XMLs. So we've got everything we need. We've got the current 1.24, um, we've got the... Um, Sorry, we've got the current 1.23, we've got the future 1.24, and then if we come over here, we've got 1.231c. So these are my boosted loot files. So let's get started. So the first thing I do is I create a new folder, and this will be 1241c. So 1c basically means my, my Chernerus folder. And then I just go into 123. Where's it gone? There we go, one, two, three, one, C. And I just copy all of this. So we're just going to copy that. And then there it is, one, two, four, one, C. Go into that and I just paste that in there. 
um, and we're basically going to edit this. Now the file we're going to look at is the most complicated one to start off with, which is just the types file. So we're just going to right click and we're going to edit that with Notepad++. So this is my modded um, uh, 1.23 file, but it will become my 124 file. So the next thing I want to open up is the um, 1.23 vanilla file. So we know the 1.23 vanilla file, I've downloaded it and I've copied it to, he says, uh, here we go, let's go up here, 1.23 vanilla, where is it? There we go, 1.23 vanilla. So we go in here, go in here, daisy offline .generous plus, go into the DB folder, and there's the types. So right click, edit with Notepad++, plus plus. <coughs> so they're next to each other. So that's the 1.23. So now we need the experimental 1.24. So if we go into, let's just go back up one. So here we can see Daisy Server Experimental. So we go into that. We go into the missions. We go into Channels Plus. We go into the DB folder, and there we are. There we have the 1.24 um, types. So we've got my original 1.23 boosted, which is going to become the 1.24. The vanilla 1.23 boosted. And the one point, sorry, the vanilla 1.23 and the vanilla 1.24. And then all we do now is we go plugins, compare, compare, and it will compare those two files. Um, now, this can seem <laughs> like a bit of a slog to start off with, um, but honestly, it, it, once you get used to it, you have a nice cup of coffee. And um, some updates, there's lots of changes, other updates, um, there aren't that many changes. Um, and all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to show you how to kind of get started. I'm not going to go through the entire types.xml because that would be too much, but you'll kind of get the idea. Now, the first thing you should notice is that we've got the two files com uh, compared here, and it showed us the difference. And then on the right-hand side, we've got this big nav bar that we can scroll through. But straight away, we can see that in the types.xml, there's a different way that DAISY and 1.24 is dealing with what a gun might contain. All right. So if we think about the AK-101, so that's an assault rifle. Um, with 1.23, the quant min and quant max were set at minus one. So what that means is the gun will always be empty. If there's one on the floor in 1.23 and before, it's always empty. And you can't change the quant min and quant max because there can only ever be one bullet in it. Um, but it, but it's always empty. So what the devs have done for 124, they actually thought, well, wait a minute. That means that if you find a gun and it's not getting bullets in, you know that um, it's probably a fresh spawn gun. Um, however, if you find a gun and it has got a bullet in, it must have been left by a player. So that means you could then figure out, oh, wait a minute, a player's been here recently. So what they're doing for 124, we're changing it. So we actually have a value for quant win and quant max. And if you're familiar with the way that the game handles um, gas tanks, gas cans now, jerry cans, and water bottles you can set how much are in them and so what this is so what we can do now is we can set a percentage of full so what it's saying with the ak-101 it can have a quant min of 30 and a quant max of 80 so what that i think that what that really means is it's got a chance of having no bullets in or one bullet in um, you probably have to load it as well um, i don't know if they're changing whether the load state might be different as well so as you can see that's quite important because if we if we didn't change that in our file it might not break the game but our players on our server would be missing out on that sort of thing. So what I would probably do is we could either do a find and replace. So we could go back to the original file and we could do, you know, we could find all the quant mins that are minus one and change them to 30. Or probably in my case, what I would probably do is um, change them to um, uh, something like um, 80 or probably the safest way to do it is just to copy these bits here so we can copy those bits there like that and then we go over to types like that and we know it's the ok 101 so we can just slide down and we can just paste them over the top and then you just want to save so at this point also you could you could make the changes so we could say actually i want the minimum to be 80 and then i want the max to be 90 and again save as you go along so now we can go back to our comparison and then we can slide down here we've got the ak-74 so then again then again we've got the same thing so we could copy that go back to our boosted one go down to the ak-74 
and we could put that on the top or again we could make sure we um, you know change that to what we want to change it to then we click on back and we're back to our comparison now if we scroll let's scroll down a bit further so again we, 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 we would do all these and we would go through and what I'm looking for now is there's the asphalt scroll down to we're almost there so here we go so this is where the new ballistic helmets come along so what we can see here is you've got the balaclava mask white so that matches and then it's quite clever the way this way it does this it says okay now we've got ballistic helmet bdu so we've got the black one the desert one and the woodland one so we need to add these to our file so what i would probably do is copy that and we know it's going to go below balaclava mask white so what i could do do a control f Bala Clav ah, like that. Ah, find next. Bala Clav a mass white. So we can just click after the type and we would paste that in. And there's our ballistic helmet BDU. At this point again you could change the value. So we could add, you know, put a nominal of I don't want to say we want a few more of them, so we want a nominal of eight. We want a minimum of five. Um, their clothes and military. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. So we could then go along. And then what we could do now is we could scroll down here. So there's the ballistic helmet BDU. So we could then copy that. And we know go that that is go Ooh, no, we did that one, didn't we? Sorry. But ballistic helmet desert. So we could just copy that. And that's got to go but underneath ballistic helmet black. So that goes in there. Ballistic helmet black, black helmet desert, and then that's good. We'll leave that as it is. If we come back over here, then the next new one is the ballistic helmet woodland. So we can copy that, and that's got to go ballistic below. It's got to go below ballistic helmet UN. So you now we've got ballistic helmet UN. So we just after the type, paste that in, and then we could say actually, yeah, I like that one. We want eight of those. With a minimum of five and let's save that click on that and then we're back to the compare and all you do is just slowly go through when you've got these big gaps here you can just drag that down don't go too it is easy to skip them and that's, as you can see now what we're going to come across is with all the weapons we're going to come across this change from quant min being minus one to quant min and quant max having a value uh, um, added to them where this will really make a difference will be for the guns that have internal magazines like the SKS. So you'll be able to pick up an SKS and have bullets inside it, which is pretty good. Now you'll come across other little changes like um, maybe the devs will have changed nominal values or lifetime values and things like that. So this again is, a, is an opportunity to see them. But as you can see, we've got a big blank area so we can pull that down and we can go through. And again, it, it, it might seem, well, this is an awful lot of work, but I would always advise that you start with the types.xml anyway, because the types.xml is the hardest and it's the longest one to do. And all you do is you keep going through, copy and pasting the changes over to your boosted loot, or maybe it's not a boosted loot, maybe it's a, it's a harder loot sort of server, and save it as you go along. And then when you're finished, what's really, really, really important is that you go to... Um, and I'll put a link to this below the, the uh, below the um, video as well. You want to go to an XML validator, and you'll want to choose the file. So let's choose the file. So Daisy modding uh, 1.241c. So working on the types. So let's validate that. Let's see if I've made any mistakes already. No errors were found because it's very easy when you're copying and pasting to maybe not copy that last bracket or copy an extra bracket and things like that. And if you validate it and you make sure everything's okay, it doesn't mean that there won't be any errors because there could still be some different types of errors in there. And there's online XML validators and there's online JSON validators as well. So you're playing around with the CFT gameplay.json files and you can do them exactly the same thing. The only thing you've got to watch out with the JSON format and validator is it will fix things automatically. So sometimes... Um, it, you, you think there isn't an error where there has been an error so watch out for that so you're looking for any errors that pop up down here um, and there we go and that's how you do it that's how you carry on and just go through and compare the files that way 
and once you've done a couple of updates honestly it becomes much much easier becomes second nature and you just have a mug of hot coffee or a mug of tea or something like that so you work your way through and before you know it you're done and you've got your files ready for your server whenever the uh, uh, update will be okay so hopefully you found this video useful if you have it like if you want to see more same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon